What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, 512 meg, I touch 10 plus on the Orion. <laughs> well that's gone. I lost my train of thought, but converted to a 2 gig I touch 11 JVL Orion. Now this officially has all the games it could possibly have slash handle. Let's take a look. I don't know where that went. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a look for that card later on. But you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Click the link tree down below. It takes you everywhere to the website, to YouTube. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I always enjoy reading all your comments, especially the ones that go. Dang, bro, you keep repeating yourself, man. Can't you just, you could have, this video could have been five minutes. You keep, deal with it. That's my content. This is my channel. I do whatever the hell I want. But yes, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to go and follow and subscribe. <laughs> Enough of the social media plug-in, man. I was not, it's actually very funny. You don't, you might, if you slow it down, I had that card in my hand and I had a quarter. My intent was to let go of the quarter but uh, yeah, I kind of like of both things, so it's somewhere there. <laughs> but on this one today, this should be the final video on the JVL Orion. Oh man, gotta love touchscreen stuff. Touchscreen gaming, I've always said in the past, every game room should have a touchscreen gaming system to it. Uh, what a journey this Orion has been. Uh, I never had a JVL, like I mentioned before. It's a... Uh, it's very interesting and fascinating stuff if you're kind of into this kind of stuff. Um, it just always blows my mind, especially right now. I just threw away a 512 megabyte MB, not gigs, not terabytes, 512 megabyte compact flash card. I'm, at 33 years old, I've never heard of a compact flash card. I've never seen one until I started opening up this one. Then I had to go out and order a new one for this whole game upgrade. Man, this Orion has, uh, it's been fun. The biggest pain in the ass was basically swapping out these cards with these motherboards and all that. But all in all, amazing, amazing stuff. Just like my Mega Touches, every kind of, I guess, system, whether it's Mega Touch Arcade or really, every system has a little bit of a background slash story slash history to it. Uh, and I just kind of get a kick out of learning the history. And, uh, and as you can see, bringing something back to life Oh man, I just, I love what I do. <laughs> now again, my main objective on this Orion was to number one, bring it to life. I wasn't really looking at game counts and systems and software and all that. I was just excited to get it and bring it back to life. Uh, a couple of people to give a big shout out to, really, like I mentioned before in my last video, there is only really one forum. Uh, it's arcades-controls or arcadecontrols.com. They have a forum section specifically for JVL and Merit. Merit is Mega Touch. So basically all touchscreen gaming. If you go to that forum, it's very dry. <laughs> it's like nobody's in it. But I basically made three to four separate posts. Um, all in all, it's just amazing to just kind of see that there are some people, and I mean a very small handful of people that are still kind of tinkering around um, with software like, you know, this dated kind of software st slash systems. Um, but man, it has been a journey. I was I was perfectly happy and fine with my iTouch 10 Plus. That is the software. Almost like our Mega Touches, they have like, you know, Mega Touch Max Jade, which is like a 2004. I have downstairs an Ion Force 2011. Uh, basically, it's got different hearts, different computers in them. And with that, each computer has a certain amount of, um, I guess, system or software upgrades. Uh, and basically, you know, software gets upgraded. And then this company and same thing with Megatouch, basically after a couple of years, they try to make the technology better. So they actually go and wind up getting new computers slash motherboards. When you do get new motherboards, now your old kind of stuff, it's kind of reached like a maximum cap. For example, right now it's actually great, it is gone. My Mega Touch Max Jade Edition, that is using the Max board. The wife. 
wife calls you answer no matter what but as I was mentioning before, the Max Jade Edition on the Mega Touch, that board, I believe it's called the Max board. Um, it's not Force. I don't want to get my stuff mixed up. But basically, the last hard drive compatible with Max was the Max Jade, which I believe was either 2005 or 2004 on that hard drive. Mega Touch, they had some success. They then wanted to get more kind of higher graphic games. That required a newer motherboard, newer RAM, and newer CPU to drive it and all that. They then went to what I believe was the ION um, or the FORCE uh, board. Again, I'm getting kind of confused because I've had all three generations, you could say, of Mega Touch. I have my two downstairs, and then I did have the Max CRT version. Brad D picked it up with his brother Chad D when they came to pick up the Bride of Pinbot. So it was really cool, it was really great. And also to see Brad all excited to get his Mega Touch, uh, he was very mind blown. That he's like Vic, this like we were we were downstairs in the basement. He goes, Vic, uh, I mentioned him. I'm giving you my Mega Touch upstairs, the CRT. And he's like, CRT touchscreen? Like how does that even work? So he's really into that kind of stuff. So it's really cool to see that Brad D can enjoy a Mega Touch. He's never experienced a Mega Touch before. He does have a home bar. It was a basically perfect collaboration. So I'm really excited he took that and it made it home safe and sound. But basically what I'm trying to get at is that just like the Mega Touch, JVL did the same thing. I believe, and I'm still not totally understanding, there's so many names. You can see Mega Touch with the Force and the Ion and the Max. JVL, I believe, had like, from my research, there's like JVL Retro, and then there's like JVL Touch HD, I don't know. I think JVL only had like two or three different motherboard versions. So. Again, just kind of like going back to the Max Jade Edition for Mega Touch. If I, if you had, let's say for example, uh, for the Max Jade was the last version for that board. If you tried to plug in, let's say an Ion 2011 to a Max board, it doesn't even work out. It's like two totally different connections. It doesn't work. The same kind of instance happens here with JVL. Now again, I did message a lot on the forums. The forum really was to focus on how to get this thing alive. Some people, you know, I got the basic guidance, but really what they said didn't really, it basically it was a trial and error thing I mentioned to you in the past video about the IO board. So luckily it was an IO board thing. But as I was mentioning it, and then I even wrote on the forums, like guys, I got it alive. I'm all excited and I like to post on the forums. Somebody mentioned, they said, hey, you should see if this could accept or play iTouch 11. And I was like, I I, I don't know what that is. I was like, what, what are you talking about? Again, my main focus was to bring it to life. Then I discovered that I had iTouch 10 Plus. I even actually discovered it because I have the actual install CD in this cabinet along with the little key. Basically, people are like, yeah, Vic, this is running, from what I understand, is the JVL Retro board, JP20, JP30 motherboard, IO boards and all that. And they said basically the last version of this JVL Retro is iTouch 11. If you could get your hands on an iTouch 11 software update key and all that, give it a try and they're actually anxious. Shout out to a guy by the name of Ma Mikey uh, in the group. Awesome dude, he reached out to me and I, I asked for some help. He sent me a couple of files. So I do give him a big shout out to this because without him, I would not have this iTouch 11 running. Now let me just backtrack a little bit, okay? Because some, again, I'm, I'm kind of rambling, but it's okay. Let's talk about first my original, which was the iTouch 10 Plus. And of course, like I mentioned before this forum, I'm kind of, you know, even when I was waiting to see what's wrong with mine, you go into the forum and you see people that are posting about JVL Retro and then iTouch software and all that. Somebody mentioned that apparently and I, it was wrong, or maybe I read it wrong, or I understood it wrong, um, I have the iTouch 10 Plus install disc and some people, and it's actually really pertaining to this iTouch 11, I thought it was for the iTouch 10 Plus, but basically some people have mentioned that you should be removing the stock 512 meg CF card and you should put in its place a one gig card. If you do that and you rerun the install CD slash software, you are actually gonna have more games on your system. Basically this install, let's, it is what it is. This install CD, let's just say has one gig of games, but you only have 512 megs, that's almost half 
of the gig. Basically now the system doesn't install all the games per se, it's missing a couple of games. So I was reading that and I'm like, okay, I got my Orion alive, now let's work on this whole install disc CD. And again, I have the iTouch 10 Plus install CD. This isn't like a Windows PC that had a CD drive just sticking out of it. This thing had quite a process to get this install disc to run slash read on this system. It basically was, you put this install disc on a PC and then you have to basically um, mount slash flash a USB drive, like a thumbstick drive. Uh, basically you run the software and you'll see that it's gonna ask you what USB stick. You flash the USB stick. You then take this USB stick and then you put it into the slot on the motherboard. So that was all good, but what a journey just to get that USB stick flashed. Now I was looking into it and I had to see, I have my kiddos all in one that I have for her with my touch system on it. Um, she has an actual CD drive because this day and age has a CD drive on their like computers, right? So her little all in one, she actually had a CD drive. I put the CD in, it ran the software, but for some reason it would not flash the USB. It kept giving me like an error and it would give me the regular JVL, it was a JVL pop-up, you know, installation upgrade kit, uh, run the, you know, it does your thing, but basically once it tries to actually flash the USB drive, it gave me a bunch of errors, error copying, error finalizing. I basically had a bunch of errors. Now going back on the forum, and you're talking about past previous posts. You're talking like dated probably, I don't know, like 2008 posts. Uh, people were mentioning that these install discs actually have to be installed on Windows XP computers. Where am I gonna get a Windows XP computer? <laughs> that, is, that is a thing, and yes, yes, I did go to compatibility and I ran the, the launcher, the executable, with the compatibility list when they long story short <laughs> the journey just to find a windows xp computer now you might be saying to yourself big man you found the windows xp computer no i did not but i did discover a little thing called virtual machine <laughs> now if you don't know virtual machine it was a quick google search virtual machine is almost like an emulator it's basically a program that you install to your computer your regular right now daily computer and you could actually make a virtual machine. I basically had a virtual Windows XP on my Windows 10 slash Windows 11 PC. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. I'm very grateful that it is a thing because basically me running it in virtual machine, I was then able to finally flash the USB uh, drive. So again, installation disk, I have the actual physical disk. I flash the USB drive in virtual machine. And again, you gotta do a couple of things. You have to have virtual machine actually notice the CD drive, then it notices it and it pops up just like your old school Windows XP. You put a game in and it would, it did it. Basically, long story short, I flashed the install upgrade disk to the USB. I plugged it in. I did get a one gig CF card from Amazon, which was about actually 20 bucks. So before I did that, I, um, what did I do? Uh, what did I do? So what I did is that I had to remove the 512 meg card. I put the one gig card in. Now keep in mind, this is a brand new one gig card. This has no boot partitions or anything at all in it. I put it in, I tried to boot up the system and basically I'm just kind of stuck on a BIOS boot type of screen because there is no JVL boot system inside this, this, this card. Um, I then put the USB stick in and I'm, I'm stuck. I have nothing. This, this, this CF card I had, it, it just didn't work out. I then, and again, you gotta keep in mind that I basically took the cage out. I swapped the card, I put the cage in. I had to put all the grounds back in and all that. Basically I went and I put back in the 512 meg uh, card. I did put the upgrade install disc and you no, know, obviously nothing changed. I had the same exact game before because it was already running a 512 meg. So I'm kind of going back and forth. I thought this maybe, basically I had a new CF card. It needed to have this JVL partition. That's what people called it. Um, you know, a boot partition. It's got to recognize it. Almost like your Windows PCs, you know, but Windows PC, it's like an install disk. 
this was an upgrade disc so you already need to have software so now I'm basically at a standstill I reached out online and somebody I actually gave me the idea and it worked out great I had to get now a CF card reader to USB yeah had to spend a little bit more money it was this kind of block I bought it on Amazon it was like 15 bucks I could take a bunch of SD cards but then it also took this big CF card reader Somebody mentioned, they said, hey Vic, you know what you should do? Take your CF card, the 512 meg image, put it into your PC, run this program called USB Image Tool, and clone it. Clone that image, take that image that's on the 512, clone it, and then restore it onto the one gig. They did say though, hey Vic, man, keep in mind though, you know, you're gonna clone a 512, so it might make your one gig think it's a 512 card. Long story short, I did all that and we're up and running. Uh, it was great. Now though, I took that extra step and I actually did the reinstall of the iTouch 10 Plus upgrade kit. Long story short, no extra games. I was like, oh, there's no extra games. I posted it to the forum just so people know, hey, I, I just told them I got a one good card, give you guys a heads up. There's no extra games on the, on the iTouch 10 Plus. Then this guy, my, Ma Mikey, he goes, no, Vic, I don't think, I don't believe the iTouch 10 Plus had extra games. It's the iTouch 11 that had that issue with the games where it was 512, but you should get a one gig card. I was like, all right, cool. Like, this is awesome. Then somebody messaged me and I even put it on Facebook. There's a Merit touchscreen group there. Um, I basically asked somebody for the iTouch 11 upgrade disc. Now, if you do go on eBay, people are selling the kit. It is the actual CF card which is still 512 megs, and the key. The key is like this little ion battery, just like how Mega Touches are. But people want like about 120 to 150 bucks for this kit. And I'm like, I'm already fine with this. I don't really need it. Now with the greatness of the internet, somebody actually messaged me and they said, hey Vic, I have the actual iTouch 11 upgrade disc. I said, cool, if you could share it, that's awesome. I could report back. And luckily this, is, this isn't Mom, Mikey, this is another person. Uh, he was basically like, cool, like, you know, I'm actually doing some testing um, to see what this upgrade disc. So I took this iTouch 11 ISO. He sent me an ISO image, not a compact flash image. He sent me an ISO image, so I had to go back to the kiddos all in one. I had to run virtual machine. I had to put the USB in. I now have iTouch 11 upgrade kit. Awesome, right? I came to this machine with the one gig that's already here. I put in the USB, I got this message that says, hey, malfunction, factory reset. I factory reset, all good. All of a sudden I get a big kind of error that says cannot upgrade invalid um, key. Uh, again, I had this 10.5 key and I needed the iTouch 11. Um, somebody that messaged me said, hey, take the key out. And again, it's a key, it's, a, it's like a little circle. It's like a watch battery, a little bit thicker. Uh, somebody said, hey, take out the key and then try to run the install. And basically, um, I had a bio style screen that basically said that there's no activation key found. So I'm kind of dead in the sauce again. Couldn't do anything with it. Now comes where some people now are, I guess the, the forum is getting a little bit of traction. There's really like three people that messaged back. Uh, but basically, somebody mentioned to me, they said, hey, I actually have an iTouch 11 CF image which is again the compact flash image, not the upgrade disc and a compact flash. He said, why don't you take my flash image and let's see if you could get iTouch 11. Basically you're bypassing this whole upgrade thing. So sure enough, I was like, okay, cool. Send it on over. I had my USB to compact flash image. I did the USB image tool and good to go. And no joke, that thing takes like five minutes tops to duplicate and clone. I quickly run to my machine. I, again, this is now like, probably like the fifth time that I'm taking the cage out and then lifting the motherboard and swapping the whole uh, the whole CF card image and all that. Uh, I put it on, I had my key in, all of a sudden I get greeted with this big yellow screen that basically says invalid key call operator. I'm like, oh man, I just did all this changing and it didn't work. And then I remember that somebody said to me before, Vic, remove the key. I was like, okay, cool. I removed the key, rebooted, same thing though, but I had a little bit of a different thing. It basically just said that there was no act activation key not found. 
And then surprisingly, after about 10 seconds, it came to life. And I had now I touch 11 at my fingertips. So I was like, yes, awesome. I don't really care about the activation key. I, I could do with that yellow screen, awesome. But now my coin acceptor is no longer working. I mean, kind of makes sense. That's a pretty cool foolproof way. But uh, it's kind of shocking that, you know, you just wait 10 seconds, then you're actually still able to play, access settings and such. Now, keep in mind though, the image I had was a 512 meg CF image. Now we're going kind of backwards, right? I have a one gig card. Somebody sent me their clone of their 512 meg. So now I'm going back and I'm like, well, uh, and I could, I'll, I'll kind of show a pic, it's not really a picture, but basically online, if you look up iTouch 11 game list, if you do a Google search, there is a website that has the game list. And I'm like, all right, let me see if all the games are here. So sure enough, I'm going down the first category. I had, let's say eight games. This game list though had about like 11. And I'm like, oh crap, we're back to square one. I don't have all the games. And now I already know, I touch 11 upgrade disc, I can't upgrade. So now I'm kind of stuck. Now this is where Ma Mikey, a grand, great dude, I really am grateful for it. We were going back and forth. He actually had this kind of, um, he was running a test. I can't really talk too much about this test, but basically he was doing some modifications to this ISO uh, CD installer, upgrade installer, uh, that would bypass a couple of things. And he said, Vic, if you can, can you test this out? He sent me three images and unfortunately all three did not work. It would actually kind of get stuck at a BIOS. The next day he messaged me, he goes, hey Vic man, a buddy of mine, he's actually got a two gig CF card image of iTouch 11. I said, I thought one gig was the max. He goes, I don't know what my, ha my friend did, but apparently he has a two gig image or basically maybe he just had two gigs Anyway, I said, if you could send it my way, awesome. He said, Vic man, if you could host it, let me know. Meaning basically he didn't have, it was a, it was a file. No, how big was the file? Yeah, it was two gigs. We were transferring files via Mediafire. Mediafire only allows one gig transfers. Uh, you needed two, so I gave him basically a link to my G drive. And about an hour or two, I got the CF image. I now had to go on Amazon, buy a two gig CF card. I had to then pull this fucking cage out again. I had to flash the, the two gig image and now we are at here. A fully loaded all games I touch 11. And now I could finally enjoy some Orion I touch 11 now gaming. Again, free 99 dead in the sauce didn't work. Revived running I touch 10 plus. Upgraded now to two gig CF card running iTouch 11 from my understanding the complete game list found if you do a quick search for JVL iTouch 11 game list. Man, awesome. It's, it's what a journey, right? And I just have to be, I'm just kind of grateful slash lucky. Um, number one, somebody has images of this, of this stuff. Uh, and to give back, and I'm going to ask permission first, I will most likely be hosting um, links. I'll do my own links. I'll put my ISO of the iTouch, 11, iTouch 10 Plus upgrade. Um, I have to ask permission for the iTouch 11 and the CF images. Basically, all in all, if you're watching this and you're trying to do this, try to find the actual compact flashcard images. Doing these upgrade ISOs was a waste of time, but that again is because I didn't have the keys. So basically a CF image is you, uh, somebody cloning their exact hard drive. That's basically it. Now keep in mind though, again, I don't have the actual key here installed on my machine. So the coin accept mode is disabled, but you can still go into the settings, adjust volume, enable all the games, and obviously set it to free play like I do. And it works. Now, just for kicks, I'll show you the actual thing that happens. This machine right now, as you can see, is off. And again, not too bad of a system. Again, JVL for this time. It takes some time to boot, but it's not awful. Again, right now, I'm taking all the pictures now because I do plan to put this up on Marketplace. And I'm gonna basically put there, if I could find the card that I threw, it's gonna have two images. 
If you're looking for it to be in uh, coin mode, it will run iTouch 10 plus that works in coin mode or get more games coin mode disabled iTouch 11 image. So that's how I'm going to be advertising it basically for sale. Um, again, I'm right now filming this so you could actually just see this yellow screen that pops up and it's kind of like you stare at the screen and you're like, okay, and you start like clicking and uh, it's not really about clicks. It's just about 10 seconds. Having patience <laughs> is all it is. I even went to the extent, and I feel so bad because again, this Ma Mikey dude requested it. I recorded my 512 meg CF image that somebody sent. Um, I recorded the game list one by one, not one by one, but I went by like category. I recorded on my phone, and my dumbass didn't record one category. And then I went to the iTouch 11 and I recorded it. I'll probably put that towards. I'll put that at the end of this video. Just in case anybody wants to see it uh, and I don't waste your time. But uh, yes, it is a known fact. I touch 11. As you can see right there, we have there the activation key not present. Oh no, it doesn't work. It's broken. No, just give it a couple of seconds and you're going to see all of a sudden we're going to be home. <laughs> um, but yes, I touch 11. The two gig image has more games. Quite quite a few more games than the 512 meg image it's awesome and again i can't i could not have done this without a community uh you know a forum people helping each other out it was pretty cool to be a little bit of a test dummy for the iso part um but ultimately grateful for somebody to share their two gig cf image uh i don't even know if what i'm saying should be said but why not it's more about asking the permission to share the image. Um, again, you could always even DM me and I could always put you in touch to the person. But all in all, very snappy, very awesome. Yes, erotic is there. Stock, I'm gonna talk about the erotic because that was the one I was looking at. <laughs> That's gonna sound weird. Um, but it was like, stock was like seven games and now this has seven, four, 16. Uh, card games, it's got, it's, it's all there. Now the only thing, and again, it's something where I kind of have to play each game. Apparently there are some games on this that the actual system will not run, meaning it doesn't have enough CPU power to run it. I haven't tested every single game. Um, I did reach out to Mom Mikey to let me know what games exactly he's talking about. Um, basically it's really meant for the newer like HD, uh, you know, bar top. Um, software slash CPU but as of right now this is it the Orion iTouch 11 it is running the final version it can run for this motherboard um, version so yeah that was a long story I'm sorry I bored you <laughs> so now again audio works with my little DuPont hack it doesn't work the way it used to but that's a-okay that's something major about it you got all games uh, a couple of games like I noticed, for example, like this Gone Ice Fishing, uh, this wasn't on the 512 Meg. I mentioned before, JBL, like, it's a lot more kid-style games too to it. So obviously my three-year-old now, we were playing this, it's basically whackable. Oh, I hit the bear. <laughs> awesome. You can even mute the music. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh damn it <laughs> but yes it's just this is just great now now the orion i could probably now bring it into the house and uh enjoy it it's just it's so cool uh and like i mentioned before just like you know everybody should have a touchscreen game system word builder we're not going to go into the erotic for for purposes this was new big tacky it has actually pac-man image on it um, yeah, this is, uh, interesting. It's, it's, like I said, it's a thing of beauty. There you go, round one right there. <laughs> Again, it is awesome. Usually you have to wait for this kind of scene, then you can hit the exit button. There you go. Again, awesome. It's just, it's just a thing of beauty. And again, to see it go from a free 99, in my eyes, I kind of saved it. Um, cause you know, you don't know. You don't know. Luckily, the kiddo that I got it from, the, the, the young teen that I mentioned the story about, luckily he didn't take this to the curb and and kill it. You know, to put it in the barn and, and take it back there and, and shoot it. 
um, luckily he put it up and you got people like me that uh, will try to bring it back to life. My neighbor always says, he's like, Vic, man, like, what drives you? Like, why? Why? What? Like, he's even still amazed that I was able to find this. <laughs> I even amazed myself. But uh, this is new. What's the difference? 2009 version of, uh, yeah, you know me. If you know me, I do like my photo hunt. Oh, uh, yeah. Awesome. I, like I said, this is just endless fun. Especially when you do. Love it. You gotta love it. But yes. The JVL Orion iTouch 11. Officially done and complete. It will. Um, I can't tell if it's going to sit back here. Or it's going to go in the house. I want it to go in the house. <laughs> it's just such a kind of deep cabinet. I wish it was a little bit more narrower. Maybe I have to make. I can't make a new cabinet. I'm going to destroy it. Uh, we're keeping everything stock. This will go up for sale. If you are in New York, you'll most likely find it on Facebook Marketplace. And yes, there you have it. JVL Orion iTouch 11. It's officially done. 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 That's it. VicVP Game Case Arcades. I love it. Love it. <laughs>